In football, every rise is precipitated by a fall, and there comes a time in a player's career when he cannot play like he once could. While this could be due to life-altering injuries or age factor, there have been cases where some players instantly took a massive nosedive and never fully recovered. Here are our top 10 footballers who suddenly declined. Number 1. Cristiano Ronaldo there is no denying that Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest footballers of all time. Whenever people doubted him, he came back stronger and proved everyone wrong. But there is one thing from the past which has come back to bite him. Back in 2015, Ronaldo went on to the iconic chat show when he was at his peak with Real Madrid. He was asked at the end of his interview about where he sees himself finishing his career. Ronaldo's response to that question was as certain as sunrise. Ronaldo said, in my mind, I want to finish in the top level. I want to finish with dignity in a good club. That doesn't mean that going to the USA, Qatar or Dubai is not good, but I do not see myself there. Well, at least he didn't lie. He never played for a Qatari or an American club. However, CR7 has officially joined Saudi Arabia's Al Nasser, bringing a massive shift to Asian football. But you could argue that despite having an illustrious career, the final chapter of Ronaldo's career did not end at the top level. His United comeback was full of drama, no silverware for the Portuguese, a contract prematurely terminated and a controversial interview with Piers Morgan. Plus, he wasn't able to match Ten Hag's high-pressing tactics and in fact, in some instances, the team performed better without him. We don't know the reason behind his steep decline but one thing's for sure, his Real Madrid successor too ended in a downward spiral. Number 2. Eden Hazard Speaking of which, many thought Hazard to be the ultimate replacement for CR7. His move from Chelsea was Real Madrid's most expensive signing, breaking the 100 million euro barrier of Gareth Bale. Well, more on Bale in a minute. But the burden of the remarkable performances and untimely injuries proved to be a headache for the Belgian. At Chelsea, he scored once in every three games. At Madrid, it stopped to one in ten. At Stamford Bridge, he could easily float past defenders, but Bernabeu was nothing but a dry spell. He just scored five goals and assisted nine times in his 57 appearances for Madrid. Rumours suggest that he might end his career in MLS. Started from the top, now Hazard is interested in playing in the US. Number 3. Deli Alley. He was arguably one of the top talents in England, and in the 2016-17 Premier League season, he showcased his value by scoring 18 goals and assisting 9. He was also an integral member of England's squad, where he featured in Euro 2016 and scored in the quarter-final of the 2018 World Cup. But we don't know what went wrong. Maybe his off-the-field distractions affected his career. In 2020, he was injured during a horrible knife-point robbery at his home. Gladly he came out safe, but maybe the mental toll dented his future performances. On another occasion, The Sun reported that Deli Ali drove a permanent wedge with his girlfriend because of the game Fortnite. Well, it appears that his lust for video games not only impacted his relationship, but led to his instant downfall. Number 4. Gareth Bale at Spurs, everything that Bale touched turned to gold. Literally, the guy dominated Champions League matches with his sheer runs, and this compelled Perez to sign Bale, making him the most expensive player in 2013. But he was quite the opposite of worth every penny. His body wouldn't support him, and he had to suffer a setback big with his calf, his groin, or his thigh. You could argue that the Welshman won five Champions League titles and three La Liga titles at Real Madrid, but individually he never reached his peak performance. And soon Isco's impressive form meant that Bale wasn't indispensable at the Bernabeu. Well, we are eager to share the curious decline of Isco and his eating habits, but you have to stick to the end for that. Nevertheless, Bale had to endure the Spanish media and booing fans throughout his Madrid career. And during the latter half of his career, he was booed by his Los Angeles FC fans. No more bail bashing as the Welshman has now taken retirement from club and international football. Number 5. Alexander Pato In 2007, Alexander Pato, also nicknamed White Duck, came to AC Milan for 24 million euros. And on his Serie A debut, he scored a finely tuned goal against Napoli. By the end of the 2008-09 season, the striker's 18 goals in all competitions made him the club's highest goalscorer that season at the age of just 19. But just like Hazard and Bell, his body betrayed him. While he changed many clubs from Chelsea to Villarreal and even went to China where he had somewhat better success, 
but Pato was never the player he was remembered for. At present, he plays for Orlando City SC. Number 6. N'Golo Kante Kante's rise has been an inspiring one. During the 1998 Football World Cup, he was a garbage collector in the stadiums, and it was his full-time job to make ends meet. But dreams do come true. He quickly made his way to the local football academy, and the rest is history. 20 years later, he lifted the prestigious World Cup trophy, that too after lifting two Premier League titles and a Champions League. But fans have not seen his full form since then, and it appears that limited fuel is left in his tank. Injuries have had a very heavy toll on him. He missed the 2022 World Cup, and a prolonged absence means that he'll lose his spot at Chelsea as well. Reports suggest that either the Blues will just cut his wages, or he'll part ways. Number 7. Donny van der Beek When Donny van der Beek went to Old Trafford, many thought that he would resolve Manchester United's defensive midfield problems. But the Dutchman ended up with his own playtime predicaments. He's been part of United for over two years, but he's only started five Premier League games. Well, it is a sharp contrast from his Ajax playing days, where he scored 28 goals in 118 appearances, including crucial contributions in the 2018-19 Champions League when Ajax reached the semi-finals. But United proved to be a nightmare for him. You'll be amazed to know that his friends, including Manchester United women star Jackie Gronan, admitted that she playfully teased fellow Van over his lack of playing time at Old Trafford. That's a concerning decline for a player who was about to sign for Real Madrid had COVID-19 not come our way. Number 8. Isco Talking of Real Madrid, Isco was one of the best upcoming talents in the last decade, and he left no stone unturned to become the fans' favourite. But the playmaker had a tough beginning. Neither Ancelotti nor Benitez was Isco's first choice. But Zizou believed in him, and during his tenure, Isco flourished. He also tasted success under Lopetegui, who preferred him as an assist maker. And owing to his worth, Real Madrid included a 700 million euro release clause in his contract. But Isco started to decline, and on one occasion he was booed by the fans for being overweight. His eating habits led to injuries which killed his playing time. It seems that Isco's peak performance has now gone for good. Number 9. Alexis Sanchez Sanchez first came into the spotlight at Barcelona, where he gained experience under the supervision of Messi. But he took centre stage at Arsenal, scoring 80 times in 166 appearances, including two hat-tricks. Still, he was missing a major trophy. And thus, he decided he needed a change. Had he chosen Manchester City over United, his career would have ended on a higher note, but Alexis went for the cash. United paid him a lucrative £500,000 a week, and in return, he just bagged five goals in 45 appearances, later founding himself sold to Inter Milan. Well, it's evident, he could never replicate or reach the potential he showed in North London. Number 10. Malcolm Born in Sao Paulo, Malcolm showed his trickery when he was playing for the French side Bordeaux, and he was sensational in the 2017-18 season where he scored 12 league goals. Soon he caught the eyes of football agents who pulled their energies to get him a ticket to a big European club. Everything was finalised. Roma fans were about to welcome him at the airport, but at the last minute, Barcelona swooped in and hijacked the deal. But to his dismay, his short spell at Barca did not include enough playing time, and he was soon transferred to Zenit St. Petersburg, where he's facing the issue of chronic inconsistency. But he could have been a star if he landed his plane in Italy. You never know. OK, OK, that's more than enough downturns. Now it's your turn to tell us what you think. So do head to the comment section and let us know your thoughts.